So Russ got me curious about what my power draw would be. So um, I hooked up my motor to a uh, nine volt battery and uh, it was it's kind of dead nine volt battery it's about eight volts right now and uh, it's, it's running pretty good I got a current monitor resistor on there two two ohms so it's drawn 20 millivolts I don't know if you can read that or not but it's 20 millivolts across two ohms which is 10 milliamps it's roughly a 50% duty cycle which at 8 volts means it's around about 40 milliwatts to run 1100 RPM it's running about 1100 RPM right now so that's pretty good it runs smooth smooth and quiet you can't, can't hear it I hooked up a diode to the trigger coil and an LED so I'm getting free power on the LED it doesn't seem to slow it down or anything just lights up the LED pretty bright pulses in time with the motor there you can see it I hope anyway um, so it's still charging my other 12 volt battery and you can see it's eight around eight volts on the battery right now so my first pulse motor running on 40 milliwatts so if I stop it it does it does seem to start pretty easy so uh, you can see it's climbing right back up sorry about that anyway that's just the uh, monitoring of the current pulse on the uh, 2 ohm resistor that's all that pulse is each time the transistor turns on so uh, it's pretty cool it's not as efficient as Russ's but it's turning quite a bit faster and I'm also having fun lighting an LED